It breaks my heart to know that she's been alone 10 years without knowing what it's like to be touched and loved. My name is Amber, and this is Kiki's story for GeoBeats. My neighbor was moving to Texas. She told me, there's a stray cat that I've been feeding, and I was hoping that you would take over the feeding for me. She first saw her as a baby and would feed her every night for years, but she could never trap her. I started to put the food out, but she didn't want to come anywhere within sight of me. She was super fearful of humans. She is right there. I would stay back on our patio and I would see her start to look at me. She's still nervous. She's not very comfortable. Hi! I would say hi to her and I would show her that I'm bringing her the food. You ready to eat? Are you hungry? She started showing up more every single night. Are you ready to eat? When I would call her, I would see her jump on the wall. Hi, kitty. <laughs> it took months to get to that point. I was nervous about her safety, so I was able to trap her. About a year ago, I brought her into the barn. After about eight weeks, she found the tiniest crack under the gate and she was gone. It was so sad because I thought I pushed it and I ruined this. My husband told me, you know, she doesn't want to be trapped. She's been living this life for 10 years. She obviously is keeping herself safe, just earned her trust. So I just started sitting with her, far away from her while she's eating. I would spend about an hour a day dedicated to just earning her trust. I was just talking to my family about committing the time every day to sit with her. And I slowly started to move closer. I never thought that I would be able to pet her, but it was a goal of mine. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You want some? Okay. Okay. Okay, this Do you want to? Every day for two years, I had been dedicating my time. And then one day. Hi. Two years. Hi, <laughs> girl. A couple months ago, I was able to touch her tail for the first time. Girl. I know it sounds silly to so many people, but I started to cry. It tears me up now. Because just that her meowing to me and talking to me, I knew she had never had interaction like that before. The first time I pet her, she was purring and drooling. The best sign of the ultimate affection. <laughs> you see what more? You just can't get enough, huh? She's always been on the run or hiding. So then to be able to touch her without her showing aggression, she didn't ever act like she was angry. It was always fear. Hi. Now we have progressed to where she is letting me pick her up and she's on my lap and I'm just giving her love for the first time in her life. And it's amazing. My dad, who he's never been a cat lover, I asked if he could come over and build a house for her. He built a little add-on for her. This little latch opens up so I can put her food in here. And then she's got this whole area that she can walk into and get cozy. She's been going in there at night when it's rainy. She can hang out here and she also goes up into her house if she needs to. I would like to take her to the vet to get her shots and get her checked out, but I want to take it slow. We're moving at her pace. Hi. You talking a lot? Huh? Are you talking? She's always on my mind, and if she didn't show up one week, I would completely flip out. <laughs> Kiki. If we're trying to integrate new people, they can't look at her. They can't say anything. They just need to basically be a still figure. What are you doing, kitty? She's still got so much fear of humans. It breaks my heart to know that so many of the animals out there are going just a day, let alone 10 years without knowing what it's like to be touched and loved and have affection. I think she's definitely chosen me as her person. So many people think I'm like this crazy cat lady, but I'm so proud to be that crazy cat lady because I've been able to earn her trust and it has been one of the most rewarding animal relationships. You ready now for your pets? Yeah.